We warned you, man. What is wrong with you? <laughs> MC Sham, we warned you. We, we were so polite at our message. We warned you. Stop. I mean, somebody needs to take the phone out of your hands and you on a twi Twitter ranting. And I, I guess it's the crack that's making you think you didn't post it and you keep posting the same thing. We heard you the first time. You can say what you want, but I'm just some F boy from YouTube. But you on YouTube too now. <laughs> you a YouTube rapper. That's what you are right now. You're a YouTube rapper. And you on Twitter rapping about yapping and ranting against a guy that's from YouTube. So who's really... I know the, the crack will make you get there one day. You'll get there one day. But it might take you five days to get realize it, but you go, wait. <coughs> Damn. I'm creating this shit. <laughs> <laughs> So look, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to come over there and rain on your parade, and whatever this little victory trout you don't think you own. But I, I told the truth. That song was the worst song. The public can make their choice. Go and listen to that song from MC Shan, and tell me that's not on the level of the MC Hammer, Jay Z diss song. Those are the two probably the worst things to come into hip hop. You rusty dog. You are rusty. And they're going to kick you out of the hip-hop retirement home. So I'm trying to do you a favor and try to keep you in there. And will somebody please take the phone out this man's hands? You know, I know you old and you cracked out and you don't know how to get the phone out of off caps. But there, there's so many characters in there, but you just stuck in cap mode. Will someone show the old man how to use Twitter? Please. Somebody please show him. And help them to the bathroom. Where's the people in this retirement home that you staying in? So they can at least, you know, put you to bed. It's It's got to be past your bedtime now. You know, it's lights out time for you. You know, we're going to get you some Depends over there, you know. And, you know, put some more aluminum foil chains around your neck. Make you feel like you back in the 80s again, you know. But you got to leave it alone, bro. It's done. It's really done. I feel sorry for you. I mean, you ran with me over there. I'm like, God, this is bad. This is real bad. It's like going with the with that uncle who still think it's like 86 and 87. It's like, man, dude, those days is over, bro. <laughs> those days is over. Nobody carrying boom boxes no more. This is over, bro. And these are the breaks. <laughs> sorry, bro, man. You know, it's got to be like that. Somebody had to put you out of the game and put you back to sleep. And I tried to do it the nice way. I only went up to level four. I ain't going no higher. I'm just going to leave it at that because you are a pioneer. You are known for the guy who got his butt whooped by KRS-One and boosted his entire career. So without you, my friend, who let the whole barrel down, son, you let Queensbridge down, son, and then you blame Marley for it. Do Marley, your cousin. Well, my cousin wouldn't let me say nothing. He didn't want me to say nothing. I should have said something, but my cousin said no. You soft. <laughs> you soft, dude. You soft. <laughs> That's your career that went down the toilet. You flushed that down that Ferguson, buddy. MC Sham.